Spring officially upon us, and while it's the time of year for planters to hit the field, it's also a busy season for the farmland market with a number of buyers who have been waiting all winter to make their purchase. CEO of National Land Realty, our good friend Ronnie Richardson, joins us now with some advice for those looking to sell. Ronnie, yeah, big time of year, right? Spring. They call it a seller season. Speak to that a little bit. Just people just waiting for the warmer weather? Hey, thanks for having us again, Suzanne. You know, everybody feels better in the spring. You're coming out of winter and you get out and get to moving around, and there's a lot of pent-up demand. Um, people have, have sat around all winter and, and been thinking about it and been looking at what may be coming on the market, and, and then they, they've been getting ready, and then in the springtime they start buying. Well, Ronnie, let's talk about that. When you, people, of course, are waiting to sell, right? Let's look at it from their perspective. Some of the main things that maybe sellers need to keep in mind. You know, what we tell sellers all the time is is the first thing you're going to want to do is get a, a professional assessment of what your property's worth. I wouldn't get an appraisal right out of the gate, but I certainly would talk to a real estate professional that does this on a daily basis and get an estimate of what they believe that your farm's worth. The second thing I would do if I was thinking about selling in the next year or two years would probably be to get a current survey of the property. Make sure because as time goes, those lines seem to change. Maybe your neighbors eased over on you and built a fence. Maybe get you a current survey of your property so you'll know if you have any encroachments. The third thing I would do would be to have my local attorney pull a title opinion on the farm or on the property, the timber, whatever, and make sure that the title's clear. This is gonna this is gonna make for a smooth transition when the when you actually do sell the property. I do want to talk about that survey because that did happen to my uncle who had a lot of property, ran some cattle up there, and had his neighbor kind of overstepped some boundaries and that had gone on for quite some time with his fence line way over on my uncle's property. So that is so, so important. I wanted to ask you this question. As far as finding the right legal and land professionals, the process in doing that, you have any advice there? I would say call National Land Realty. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah, um, you, you just want to find you want somebody that that does this every day. This is what we do every single day of our life, full time. You want somebody who's a professional, whether it is a national land realty agent, broker, or or somebody that you know that that does this every day that sells farmland. They'll have their finger on the pulse of what farmland is worth, whether it's an auctioneer, and maybe it's the banker, uh, maybe it's your local realtor. I love that. You know, listen, you and I often talk, right, about the steps that people need to take, whether they're selling or whether they're buying. But very rarely do we really kind of hear the background on your company, National Land Realty, and how you guys are always ready to assist. So talk a little bit about your company. And obviously, you've been in this game for quite some time. I've been at this game for about 35 years. Wow. And, and, and National Land, I've been with National Land for about eight years. And, you know, they've taught me more in eight years than I learned the first 30 something years. So it, it's, it's about learning how to help your clients and teaching our agents to, I, t I told my guys the other day, I said, if you ever start helping a client like you help yourself, that's when you start winning at this game. So every client we try to help, I think about those clients like my parents or my grandparents or myself. So I'm trying to, to educate them and do the best job we can do for them, just like I would for myself. Absolutely. You treat them like family. I love that. You know, before I let you go, I have to, to ask you, again, we're talking about sellers. Maintenance elements, some things to keep in mind, because you guys, obviously, you've been doing this for over 30 plus years. So what do they need to keep in mind when it comes to maintenance elements? It would be very similar to selling your house. You want to clean it up. You want to clean up your farm. If you got your title clean and you got your survey clean and your fence problem with your neighbor's neighbor fixed, the next thing you do is clean it up. I mean, don't have a, a tractor that caught on fire and burned. Move it. Take it to the scrapyard. Make sure all your chemical jugs are cleaned up. Make sure your barn's clean. Clean up around your fuel tanks. Uh, make sure your drainage, maybe your ditches and drainage need some work. Maybe your water control structures need some work. Do that work. Get it ready to sell, just like you would your house. You would clean it. You would paint it. You would fix the fence. Um, it's very similar. Yeah, absolutely. They call it staging, right? Make sure that everything looks just right. Always great advice. Ronnie, thank you so much for all that you do. Appreciate you joining us. CEO of National Land Realty, that is our good buddy, Ronnie Richardson.